in the last class we have discussed about the classification nomenclature and methods of preparation of phenol today we are going to discuss about physical and chemical properties of phenol so first we'll discuss the physical properties the physical properties of phenol are displayed on your tv screen let's have a look phenol is a colorless solid melting point 42 degrees centigrade boiling point 182 deg degrees centigrade higher boiling point of phenol is due to strong intermolecular hydrogen bonding i repeat strong intermolecular hydrogen bonding because of that the boiling point is 182 degrees centigrade it is an antiseptic and disinfectant too it is slightly soluble in water once again due to hydrogen bonding with water you see the hydrogen bonding how the intermolecular hydrogen bonding exists between phenol molecules and how does phenol forms intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water displayed on our tv screen this is intermolecular hydrogen bonding between phenol molecules see intermolecular hydrogen bonding we mean hydrogen bonding in between the molecules hydrogen bonding in between the molecules now this is intermolecular hydrogen bonding between phenol and water molecules see how water is uh, hydrogen bonded with phenol molecules that is why phenol is slightly soluble in water so these are the physical properties of phenol now let's see what are the chemical properties i mean the chemical reactions of phenol the reactions of phenol may be divided into two main types reactions of the oh group repeat reactions of the oh group and reactions due to benzene ring that is electrophilic aromatic substitution first in reactions of phenol like alcohols phenol dissolves in alkali metal to liberate hydrogen gas see the reaction displayed on a tv screen here phenol dissolves in sodium metal and hydrogen gas is liberated alcohol also does so similarly phenol dissolves in alkali to give phenoxide salt example displayed on a tv screen phenol dissolves in noh to give sodium phenoxide and gives water this is neutralization reactions but alcohol alcohol practically never dissolves in alkali okay it is dis displayed here on your tv screen that water insoluble alcohols do not dissolve in alkali so this indicate phenol shows acidic character phenol shows acidic character because phenol dissolves in alkali alkali is a base and since al phenol reacts with alkali to give salt and water that means it undergoes ne uh, neutralization reactions phenol shows acidic character and i have already told you in the last class in ancient indian villages phenol was used as snake repellent under the name carbolic acid under the name carbolic acid so phenol is also called carbolic acid so it has acidic character now question comes why does phenol shows acidic character alcohols are neutral but phenol shows acidic character what makes phenol to say acidic character that we have to discuss here this is very important uh, from the point of view of chsc why phenol shows acidic character whereas alcohols do not that will discuss see the acidic character of phenol let me explain you what do you mean by acid here acid we mean branched trade acid acid we mean branched trade acid though we have three classification of acids arrhenius acid branched trade acid and lewis acid but acid we mean branched trade acid and branched trade acid what are branched trade acids the substances which furnish h plus ions or the substance which donate h plus ion to any other substance in simple way acids are proton donor branched acids that proton donor so acid you mean branched acid just like ionic compound you mean nacl whenever somebody ask you that give one example of ionic compound spontaneously only one example comes to mind that is sodium chloride similarly what is an acid branched acid water branched acid proton donor okay let's see why alcohols are not acidic why they don't furnish h plus ion if alcohol so is acidic character i have to write the ionization of alcohol as such which i am going to 
right on the whiteboard. Just look at the whiteboard. See, alcohols gives H plus ion here. If I have to prove alcohol so the acidic character, I have to prove that alkoxide is more stable. If alkoxide ion, this is called alkoxide ion, alkyl oxygen minus alkoxide ion. If it shows al if it shows acidic character, I have to prove that alkoxide ion is more stable. Alkoxide ion is more stable, but alkoxide is unstable. It is unstable. Why it is unstable? See, there is a negative charge and R is electron releasing group. R is electron releasing. It increases electron density. I mean negative charge density increases. So, stability decreases. Remember one point here. Stability of a charge species. Stability of a charge species is inversely proportional to density of the charge. Stability of a charge species is inversely proportional to density of the charge. Is that clear? So, greater is the charge density, lesser is the stability. So, here the negative charge increases, density increases, unstable. The equilibrium shifts in backward directions. So, alcohol does not furnish H plus ion, does not give H plus ion. Okay? Now, coming to phenol. Once again, you have if I have to prove that phenol shows acidic character, I have to represent the ionization of phenol as such. And as you know, I have to establish now phenoxide ion. This is phenoxide ion, phenoxide, phen this one phenox fin means benzene fin oxide ion i have to establish phenoxide ion is more stable than phenol then only reaction shifts in forward direction and it it forms h plus ion so what is the driving force of the reactions what do you have to establish students we have to establish phenoxide ion is more stable than phenol why phenoxide is more stable how can you prove that? Now, let us see phenol and phenoxide ion, does they exhibit resonance? Yes, phenol exhibit resonance. Why phenol exhibit resonance? Because it is a conjugated system, it is a conjugated system. What type of conjugated system it is? It is lone pair pi conjugated system. Where the lone pair? The lone pairs are present on oxygen atom. I have told you if oxygen is two bonds, either double bond or two single bonds. If oxygen is two bond, if oxygen is two bond, then must it must have two lone pairs. There are two lone pairs on oxygen atom. Okay, and it is lone pair pi conjugated system. So uh, how to uh, determine or how to predict the lone pair pi conjugated system? In benzening, if there is a substituent present on the benzening, and the key atom, key atom. What is key atom? Atom attached to benzene ring. Atom attached to benzene ring. So, can you tell me which one is key atom here? The atom attached to benzene ring, oxygen. Atom attached to benzene ring, it is oxygen is key atom. And if the key atom has a lone pair of electron or negative charge, it is uh, the lone pair pi conjugated system. It is a lone pair pi conjugated system. And in lone pair pi conjugated system, lone pair involved in resonance with the pi electron cloud. Here in phenol, lone pair is in resonance with the pi electron cloud of the benzene ring. In conjugated system, they exhibit resonance. So, what do you mean by resonance here? I have to draw some structures here. If it is possible on our path to write more than one structure for a molecule, that molecule is said to be in a state of resonance. If it is possible on my path to write more than one structure, that molecule is said to be in a state of resonance. Phenol is in a state of resonance here because I can draw more than one structure. Now, question comes how to draw the resonating structures of phenol? How to draw the resonating structure of phenol? 
let me give you a trick here. In lone pair pi conjecture system, a lone pair pi conjecture system shift the lone pair to the adjacent single covalent bond. Shift the lone pair, let me show it. Shift the lone pair to the adjacent single covalent bond by using a curved arrow, curved arrow. Then shift the pi bond from the attached unsaturated system. Pi bond, this is the unsaturated system. Which one is unsaturated system here? Yeah. Benzene ring. Shift the pi bond from the attached unsaturated system to the atom by using another curved arrow in such a way so that both the curved arrows are directed in same direction. <coughs> so that both the curved arrows are directed in same direction here anti-clockwise. Okay? So, this is the way to write regenerative structures. So, what is the structure possible after shifting this electron pair? Let me show it. Okay. The regenerative structures are also displayed on a TV screen. Once again, it is a lone pair pi conjecture system. So, uh, what are the procedures to be followed to drive the to sorry to draw the uh, uh, regenerative structures? Shift the lone pair to the adjacent single covalent bond by using a curved arrow. Then shift the pi bond uh, to the shift the pi bond to the atom by using another curved arrow in such a way so that both the curved arrows are directed in same direction. Students, now you can write. Let me show you another structure here. This is the regenerating structure of phenols. We can write two more structures already displayed on a TV screen. I am not going to write the two more structures here. It is already displayed on a TV screen. So, you see these are the regenerative structure of phenol. We can write five regenerative structures of phenol. So, phenol exhibit resonance and the molecule, we know that the molecule which exhibit resonance are stable. The molecule which exhibit resonance are stable. So, phenol exhibit resonance. Now, let us see what are, uh, does phenoxidine exhibit resonance or not? Phenoxidine, does it exhibit resonance? Is it a conjugated system? Yes, it is also a conjugated system. And what type of conjugated system it is? You see. The, it is also lone pair pi conjugated system. Why? Because oxygen has got a negative charge. Let me tell you one more trick. When oxygen has a single bond, oxygen has a single bond with a negative charge, three lone pair must be on oxygen atom. Single bonded oxygen with a negative charge, three lone pairs. It is also a lone pair pi conjugated system. So, it, it also exhibit resonance and the same procedure ha are to be followed, same pr procedures are to be followed to draw the regenerating structures of phenoxidine. Let us draw some regenerating structures of pheno phenoxidine. Students, these are the regenerating structures of phenoxidine. Five regenerative structures. Phenol also has five regenerative structures. Let me draw all the regenerative structures for your better explanation.
whether the resonating stocks are so phenol and phenoxidine, but we have to prove that phenoxidine is more stable, then only we can prove that phenol so is the character. We have to prove this. Phenoxide is more stable than phenol. Can you tell me? Phenoxide is more stable. Students, can you tell me here? May I ask a question here? Can you prove that phenoxide is more stable? Now let's have a look at the phenoxide and phenol. Phenol. What are the difference between phenoxide and phenol? In phenoxide, see the middle three structures. One, two, three. It involves charge separation. Charge separation. That is separation of plus and minus. Plus and minus. Can you show me? Is there any charge separated resonant structures in phenoxide ion? Is there any charge separated resonant structures of phenoxide ion? No charge separated resonating structures. And charge separation requires absorption of energy. Let me tell you here. Charge separation requires absorption of energy. And get the energy, let's read the stability. So, phenol is unstable, phenoxide is more stable, and that is the driving force of this ionization. Why the reaction shifts in forward direction? Because this is more stable. So, if the reaction shifts in forward direction, it furnishes H plus ion, it gives H plus ion that makes phenol to show acidic character. Okay, is that, stu is that clear, students? I think you have got a clear explanation. If the question asks you that discuss the acidic character of phenol, what do you have to do? Draw the resonant structure of phenol, draw the resonant structure of phenoxide ion, and say that phenol has three charge separated resonating structures, three charge separated resonating structure that makes phenol unstable and phenoxide is more stable. Well, students, now you have a you have got a clear picture of acidic character of phenol. So, why phenol so is acidic character? Because phenoxide is more stable. Also, there are some other reasons possible for acidic character of phenol. Let me show you one more clip here. Uh, this is the slide which is displayed on your TV screen. That is stability of phenoxide ion. You, uh, you see there are no charge separated resonating structure which makes phenoxide more stable than phenol. Now, comparison of acidic character between phenol and alcohol. I have told you that alcohols are not acidic because neither alcohol nor alkoxide ion exhibit resonance. Whereas, phenol as well as phenoxide ion exhibit resonance. Moreover, in resonating structures of phenol, you will find a positive charge over oxygen atom. There is a positive charge over oxygen atom, which makes oxygen much more reluctant withdrawing than before. You know, oxygen is the second most reluctant negative element in the predictable. It is the second most reluctant negative element, but with a positive charge, much more reluctant withdrawing as a result of which H plus n can be easily furnished from the phenol. Okay? So, there are three charge separated structures in phenol and in the th three charge separated st resonating structures, there are positive charges on the oxygen atom. So, this positive charge makes oxygen more electronegative. Okay. One more region also possible for acidic character of phenol. In phenol, oxygen, oxygen is attached to sp2 hybridized carbon. Oxygen is attached to sp2 hybridized carbon of the benzene. As you know, all this is carbon atom be uh, of benzene are sp2 hybridized. But in alcohol, oxygen is attached to sp3 hybridized carbon. So, what makes the difference here? I, uh, hybridization, how does it affect the acidic character? You know, with increasing S character of hybrid abital, I repeat, with increasing S character of hybrid abital. The electronegativity of hybrid abital increases, hence acidic character increases. Okay, sp2 hybridized carbon has 33 percent S character. So, S with increasing S character, electronegativity increases. That is why phenol is more acidic. Okay, so these are the three explanation for acidic character of phenol. Al already we have discussed about the reactions involving OH group of phenol. One of the reactions we have already discussed that phenol reacts with active metal such as sodium to liberate hydrogen gas along with sodium phenoxide salt. In the first slide, I have already shown it. And also phenol dissolves in aqueous alkali to give sodium phenoxide, phenoxide salt and water. 
next reactions involving OH group of phenol that is esterification. Next reaction is esterification. What do you mean by esterification? Generally, esterification we mean alcohol when reacts with carboxylic acid, alcohol when reacts with carboxylic acid gives ester and water in presence of dilute mineral acids which is a reversible reactions. Phenol also reacts with carboxylic acid to give ester, but this reaction is endothermic. The phenol when reacts with carboxylic acids like acidic acid etcetera, it gives ester, but the reaction is endothermic. It is also reversible reactions. That is why here in esterification, we are reacting phenol with acyl chloride and carboxylic acid anhydride, which gives ester in presence of tertiary bases or weak organic bases such as pyridine or triethyl amine. I repeat, in esterification of phenol, phenol when treated with acyl halide such as acetyl chloride or carboxylic acid anhydride such as acetic anhydride in presence of weak organic bases such as pyridine or triethyl amine, it undergoes esterification to give phenyl ester. Let us have a look. The reaction is displayed on your TV screen. Phenol reacts with acyl chloride or carboxylic acid anhydride. You see, in presence of pyridine, phenol reacts with acid chloride to give phenyl acetate. Why pyridine is required? Because this is an uh, organic base which uh, neutralizes the HCl dos form. Okay? That is why the reaction is carried out in presence of pyridine. This is esterification. Coming to uh, acidic character, once again acidic character phenol. Acidic character phenol, I have already discussed the acidic character phenol, but if there are substituents on phenol, does they affect the acidic character of phenol? Yes, substituent also influence acidic character of phenol. Electron withdrawing substituents increases acidic character of phenol. Electron releasing substituents decreases acidic character of phenol. I repeat, electron withdrawing substituents increases acidic character of phenol and electron releasing substituents decreases acidic character of phenol. Do you follow me? So, these substituents they have uh, they affect the acidic character of phenol to greater extent when they are placed at ortho and para positions. So, electron releasing or electron withdrawing nature of substituents is more pronounced when they are placed at ortho and para position of phenol than meta positions. Why this is so? Because phenol in phenol OH group is ortho para directing, OH group is ortho para directing. How to predict, how to know that a substituent present on the benzene ring is ortho para directing? Very simple, if you will find there is lone pair of electron or negative charge on the key atom. I repeat, lone pair of electron or negative charge on the key atom, that substituent is ortho para directing. Okay? And the substituents which are characterized either by presence of negative charge or lone pair of electron on the key atom, these substituents are called plus M effect groups or plus R effect groups. I repeat, plus M or plus R effect groups are characterized by presence of negative charge or lone pair of electrons on the key atom. Do you follow me? So, phenol is ortho para directing. So, when the substituents are pla placed at ortho and para positions, they not only exhibit inductive effect that is electron withdrawing or electron releasing nature, not only in exhibit inductive effect, but also exhibit plus A or plus R effect. I mean substituent when placed at ortho and para position, they involved in resonance with the 6 pi electron cloud of the benzene. They involved in resonance, not only involved in resonance, but also so inductive effect. That is why when substituents present at ortho and para positions, they uh, affect the acidic character phenol to greater extent compared to meta positions. Let us see one example here. The example we will discuss here is chlorophenol.
chlorophenol this is orthochlorophenol metachlorophenol parachlorophenol and phenol the question asked to you is compare the acidic character between ortho meta and parachlorophenol can you compare the acidic character i have told you the electron we drink gives in kg acidic character and electron we dry nature of the substituent is more pronounced at ortho and para positions at ortho this is ortho isomer this is meta isomer this is para isomer so electron we drying nature of the substituent is more pronounced at ortho and para position chlorine exhibit minus i effect as well as plus m effect but minus i is dominating in chlorine in uh, with chlorine minus i is dominating okay hence <coughs> the ortho chlorophenol will consider the minus i effect only so the ortho chlorophenol is most acidic because the inductive effect is maximum here because the inductive effect is inversely proportional to distance lesser is the distance greater the inductive effect minus i effect is maximum this is most acidic followed by meta chlorophenol remember we are considering only the minus i effect of chlorine then para chlorophenol then phenol because chlorine is minus i well students this is about the acidic character phenol i have explained one of the example here so i i am sure that you have some idea now you have some idea about the acidic character of phenol i have shown you that effect of substituents on acidic character of phenol and i have already told you that electron withdrawing groups in kg acidic character whereas electron releasing groups decreases acidic character of phenol one of the example we have already discussed that is effect of chlorine atom on acidic character of phenol now we'll discuss one more substituent one more example that is effect of nitro group on acidic character of phenol i have already told you that these substituents have pronounced effect on acidic acidic character at ortho and para positions mainly so let's see the example here the example displayed on your tv screen that is acidic character of nitrophenol let's have a look here no2 group is strongly minus i as well as minus m negative mesomeric effect this is negative mesomeric effect group as well as negative inductive effect group and uh, it has the uh, its uh, electron withdrawing nature is maximum when placed at ortho and para positions so if we compare the acidic character between these four compound displayed on a tv screen phenol obviously weakest acid here and second the next acidic which is more acidic than phenol is meta nitrophenol why because in meta nitrophenol no2 group only exhibit minus i not minus m i repeat no2 group at the meta position only exhibit minus i negative inductive effect whereas at ortho and para positions it exhibit both minus and minus m that is why both ortho and nara para nitrophenol that more acidic than meta nitrophenol coming to acidic character between para nitrophenol and ortho nitrophenol at ortho position no2 shows maximum minus i effect maximum minus i effect why because smaller distance lesser is the distance greater the inductive effect so ortho isomer should be the strongest acid here ortho nitrophenol should be the strongest acid but you see on your tv screen it is it is there that is para nitrophenol which is more acidic than ortho nitrophenol question comes why why para nitrophenol is more acidic than ortho nitrophenol aisa kyu okay let's say in ortho nitrophenol let me show that this is ortho nitro phenol
this is orthonitrophenol and say this is the hydrogen bonding called intra molecular hydrogen bonding due to intra molecular hydrogen bonding the orthonitrophenol is less acidic than para nitrophenol is that clear student now you got that the clear picture of the acidic character nitrophenol next example let us see see the next example that is acidic character of kisol displayed on your tv screen here kisols you know kisols are uh, when methyl group is present in the benzene they are, they are called kisols ortho kisol meta kisol para kisol methyl methyl is plus i as well as plus m add ortho and para position it exhibit plus i as well as plus m add meta position only plus i plus m due to hyper conjugation plus m due to hyper conjugation methyl group exhibit plus m due to hyper conjugation so that is why phenol is the most acidic here with an methyl group decreases acidic character of phenol methyl group being a lactone releasing and why meta isomer is more acidic than ortho and para because in meta position only plus i in para position plus i is minimum in ortho position plus i is maximum that is why acidic character of kisols follows this order phenol then meta kisol then para kisol then ortho kisol in ortho kisol plus i is maximum meta kisol is more acidic than para kisol because in case of para isomer methyl shows plus i and plus m is that clear so this is acidic character of kisols one more example it is again displayed on a tv screen let's have a look here acidic character of methoxyphenol it is meta isomer is the most acidic here because ocs3 at the meta position exhibit minus i i repeat minus i hence meta isomer is the most acidic ocs3 is plus m as well as minus i plus m as well as minus i why plus m because oxygen has got lone pair of electron so hence it is plus m and minus i because oxygen is electronegative so meta isomer more acidic than uh, that phenol more acidic than ortho ortho is less acidic than phenol because of plus m but it has minus i hence it is more acidic than para para methoxyphenol this is all about the acidic character of phenols next the expected questions from the point of view of chs examination what co, wha, what type of question we can expect in chs 2021 number 1 compare acidity of phenol with that of ethanol i have already discussed that why phenol is acidic and ethanol is less acidic phenol is acidic because of resonance ethanol neither ethanol nor ethoxide ion exhibit resonance next question explain why is ortho nitrophenol more acidic than methoxyphenol ortho methoxyphenol anode is more minus i anode is more minus i that is why ortho nitrophenol is more acidic than methoxyphenol next question compare the acidic character between uh, chlorophenol ortho nitrophenol ortho kisol and phenol okay it is uh, chlorophenol let me draw all the structures here this is phenol this is ortho chlorophenol okay then ortho nitrophenol this is ortho nitrophenol here yeah? then phenol this is phenol then comes crystal ortho crystal i am asking you this question i am sure you can answer this question you have got some idea about the acidic character of phenol so you tell me which one is most acidic here yes 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 answer is nitrophenol this is most acidic okay then yes correct answer is this one that is uh, ortho nitrophenol more acidic than ortho chlorophenol because no2 is more minus i correct then phenol and ortho kisol methyl is plus i this is electron releasing decreases acidic character so less acidic hence this is third positions then this is last to ortho nitrophenol one 
greater than 2, greater than 3, greater than 4. Okay. So, have you got the answer now? Next question. Arrange the following compounds in increasing order of their acid strength. Uh, the compounds are there. Propan one all. You, uh, this, this question, uh, you, ha you have to answer this question. This is the homework for you. You have to answer this question. Esterification, we have already discussed about the esterifications. Esterification reaction, I have already told in the last class. So, I am not going to discuss this esterification in this class. Next type of uh, reactions, phenol exhibit. It is a lactophilic aromatic substitution. A lactophilic aromatic substitution that is due to benzening. So, benzene, whenever you find benzening, it gives a lactophilic, whenever you find the benzening, that reaction it gives is a lactophilic substitution reaction. Why? Because benzene is reluctant rich. Why benzene is reluctant rich? Due to delocalized 6 pi reluctance. And how does OH group affect the electrophilic substitution reaction that we will discuss. Okay? Well, students, about the electrophilic aromatic substitutions. In phenol, the OH group is strongly activated the benzening towards electrophilic aromatic substitution. OH group is strongly activating the benzening towards electrophilic aromatic substitutions. So, phenol is highly reactive towards electrophilic aromatic substitutions. Further, due to resonance uh, in the resonating structure of phenol, you must have seen that negative charge appears at ortho and para positions of the phenol. Hence, the electrophile are attracted towards ortho and para positions of phenol and OH group is ortho para director. OH group is ortho para director. In fact, all the plus m effect groups are ortho para director. All the plus m effect groups are ortho para director. I have told you what are plus m effect groups. Let me once again repeat that sentence. Plus m effect groups are characterized either by presence of negative charge or lone pair of electron on the key atom. So, all the plus m effect groups are ortho para director. Here, OH is ortho para director. So, whenever phenol undergoes electrophilic substitutions, it gives ortho as well as para isomers. First electrophilic substitution we are going to discuss is halogenation. During halogenation, when phenol treated with bromine in presence of carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride at 0 degree centigrade, para bromophenol is obtained as the major product and minor product is that ortho bromophenol. You see, bro, here we are using bromine, but in absence of any Lewis acid catalyst, whenever benzene or chlorobenzene, you must have read, when they are subjected to halogenation, they are treated with halogen in presence of Lewis acid catalyst, such as AlCl3. But here, in phenol, when treated with bromine, or 0 degree centigrade in presence of non-polar solvent C, no Lewis acid catalyst required. Phenol with bromine or 0 degree centigrade in presence of non-polar solvent that indicate how much phenol reactive is. Phenol is highly reactive towards electrophilic substitution. It does not require temperature here. No Lewis acid catalyst required. So, reacts with bromine to gives orthobromophenol and parabromophenol. Then in aqueous medium, phenol when treated with bromine in aqueous medium at room temperature gives 2, 4, 6 tribromophenol. See the difference. In presence of nonpolar solvent, it gives orthobromophenol and parabromophenol. Parabromophenol is the major product. But here with bromine at uh, 25 degree centigrade that is room temperature in presence of water aqueous bromine excess of aqueous bromine gives the white solid 2, 4, 6 tribromophenol displayed on a TV screen here. Let us have a look here. So, 2, 4, 6 tribromophenol which is a white solid the why the now question comes why in presence of water it gives 2, 4, 6 tribromophenol whereas in presence of nonpolar solvent it gives only ortho and parabromophenol. Why this is so? In presence of water phenol undergoes ionization to give phenoxide ion and you know phenoxide ion is highly reactive towards electrophilic substitution reactions. That is why 
246 trigonal phenol is the product here this is halogenation of phenol important questions the important question from the point of view of chsc you can expect this questions also what happens when phenol tetrode bromine in presence of water answer is 246 trigonal phenol and it out here i think this person is clear halogenation of benzene is important this is also it is also mentioned here displayed on a tv screen see the second point it is also useful as the test of phenol it is a test of phenol why bromine color is red but it gives a white solid the, the test of phenol alcohol does not respond to these reactions so in this way we can distinguish between alcohol and phenol next electrophilic substitution reaction of benzene sulfonations when phenol is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid at room temperature it gives almost 50 percent of ortho uh, hydroxy uh, benzene sulfonic acid and para hydroxy benzene sulfonic acid at room temperature but below room temperature ortho isomer is the major product at 100 degree centigrade para isomer is the major product what the electrophile in aromatic sulfonation it is so3 okay in aromatic sulfonation this is sulfonations you see this reaction is called sulfonation here and what the what is the uh, electrophile in aromatic sulfonation remember this in aromatic sulfonation electrophile is always neutral electrophile so3 i repeat neutral electrophile so3 phenol with h2so4 at room temperature sorry below room temperature ortho isomer is the major product but at high temperature 100 degree centigrade para isomer is the major product next reaction nitration of phenol with dilute nitric acid phenol gives orthonitrophenol and para nitrophenol at room temperature you see when benzene is subjected to nitration benzene is treated with concentrated h2so4 and concentrated hno3 this mixture is called nitrating mixture benzene when treated with mixture of concentrated hno3 and concentrated h2so4 undergoes nitration to give nitrobenzene but see phenol phenol with dilute aqueous nitric acid at room temperature temperature is not required and dilute hno3 it gives orthonitrophenol and paranitrophenol see the difference from this you can easily imagine how reactive phenol is phenol is highly reactive towards electrophilic substitution this reaction also indicate this okay so phenol with dilute hno3 gives orthonitrophenol and paranitrophenol though yield is poor here yield is poor because hno3 not only oxygen acid but also oxygen oxidizing agent so it can oxidize this phenol to some terry products okay now question comes this mixture orthonitrophenol and paranitrophenol can it be separated can we separate the mixture students i am asking this question to you can you separate this mixture can you separate orthonitrophenol and paranitrophenol answer is yes we can separate the mixture of orthonitrophenol and paranitrophenol how come i, I have already told you that in orthonitrophenol there is intramolecular hydrogen bonding that decreases the boiling point of phenol that decreases boiling point so orthophenol volatile phenol is steam volatile so we can use steam distillation for separation of this mixture into individual components so this mixture can be separated by steam distillation the reaction displayed on your tv screen have a look about the nitrogen that is phenol with 20 percent aqueous hno3 at room temperature with concentrated nitric acid when phenol is treated with concentrated nitric acid see the main product this is 246 trinitrophenol see the reactivity there are three electrophiles no2 plus and with concentrated nitric acid okay when benzene treated with concentrated nitric acid no reaction it require an electrophile generator that is concentrated sulfuric acid in presence of H2SO4 benzene undergoes nitration but here phenol does not require sulfuric acid it just with concentrated HNO3 it gives 246 trinitrophenol that is picric acid okay yield is low due to oxidation of phenol as you know hno3 is a strong oxidizing agent also so the picric acid it is better known as by this common name picric acid 246 trinitrophenol this question may be asked to you that what happens when phenol treated with concentrated hno3 name the product product is picric acid called 246 trinitrophenol and this picric acid is the yellow color dye yellow color dye next reaction that is rima tyman reaction 
very important reaction in the year 2020. This question has already been asked in CHSC exam, okay, in chemistry exam. So that is Rimar Tyman reaction. So what is Rimar Tyman reactions? When phenol is heated with chloroform and an alkali, you see, displayed in your TV screen at 70 degrees centigrade, and the product thus form is acidified. It gives salicylaldehyde or orthohydroxybenzaldehyde as the major product along with a small amount of parahydroxybenzaldehyde. This is Riemann Tyman reactions. Phenol, so what is Riemann Tyman reaction once again? Phenol when treated with chloroform in presence of aqueous alkali. Okay, phenol when treated with chloroform and an alkali at 70 degree centigrade product form uh, thus product thus form upon acidification gave salicylaldehyde called Riemann Tyman reactions. Okay. So now question comes how the reaction takes place, what the mechanism? Let us see what the mechanism of this reactions. What the electrophile here? It is once again electrophilic substitution, but we do not find any electrophile here. Chloroform NH, no electrophile. Okay. So, what is the electrophile? Let us see. So, chloroform does chloroform react with NH? Answer is yes. Why? Chloroform hydrogen atom is acidic. See, this is chloroform, its hydrogen atom is acidic. So, when it reacts with the alkali, it gives CCl3 minus. From this, Cl minus is eliminated, resulting a compound called dichlorocarbin. Dichlorocarbin, okay. This is dichlorocarbin and dichlorocarbin is a neutral electrophile. Electrophile in Riemann Thiemann reaction is dichlorocarbin. Okay. Let us see how does dichlorocarbin reacts with phenol. Phenol in presence of NOH gives sodium phenoxide ion that sodium phenoxide ion reacts with the electrophile dichlorocarbin to give the product This one, okay, with water, it gives CHCl2, okay, this remove H plus N from water, this one, remove H plus N and it becomes CHCl2, then in presence of OH minus ion, this reaction takes place OH minus ion, remove the S plus ion, this bond shift here, this upon hydrolysis by OH minus ion, see both the chlorine are now substituted by OH minus ion and the product thus form is unstable as you know there cannot be two OH groups on the same carbon. Both the chlorine now substituted by OH minus ion. So there would be two OH groups on the same carbon but it is unstable. So one water molecule has to be eliminated here. One water molecule has to be eliminated resulting CHO. So the final is this one. O minus and CHO, which upon acidification gives salicylaldehyde. This is salicylaldehyde orthohydroxybenzaldehyde. Okay, students. So, this is Rima Tyman reactions already asked in this year in 2020. This question has already been asked in CHSC exam. So, this is a very important reaction in phenol. 
next reaction next reaction of phenol is cold skimmed reactions cold skimmed reaction what is this reaction when sodium phenoxide is heated with carbon dioxide sodium phenoxide that means phenol with sodium hydroxide when sodium phenoxide is treated with carbon dioxide gas at 120 to 140 degree centigrade under pressure sodium salicylate is formed which upon acidification gives salicylic acid see it displayed on a tv screen let's have a look here that is cold skim reactions we have sodium phenoxide sodium phenoxide we can have we can easily obtain sodium phenoxide from phenol phenol when treated to sodium hydroxide gives sodium phenoxide with carbon dioxide <coughs> at 125 degree centigrade under pressure 4 to 7 atm pressure gives that uh, sodium salicylate which upon acidification gives salicylic acid okay so here electrophile is carbon dioxide a very weak electrophile this is called skim reactions ne next reaction with uh, is reaction with zinc dust phenol when heated with zinc dust gives benzene another important reactions but for conversion purpose you can use this reaction if you want to convert phenol into benzene you can carry out this reaction heating with zinc dust it gives benzene and the final reaction is oxidation oxidation of phenol phenol when oxidized by chromyl chloride or chromic acid okay when it is oxidized by chromyl chloride or chromic acid gives para benzoquinone it gives para benzoquinone okay so these are the reactions of phenol with this i come to end of this topic phenol i hope you, all the students the, those who are attending this class enjoyed the class a lot and uh, uh, i hope you must have a proper understanding of the phenol now now you can answer almost all the questions of phenol asked in chsc from this topic phenol okay thank you very much